In the previous lectures, we have presented the motion of the robot and how ROS represents the motion commands to make a robot move. However, what we have done so far is kind of a blind motion without awareness about the surrounding environment of the robot. In real applications, it is mandatory that a robot perceives the environment around it and extract useful information from the environment to be able to plan his motion and act in an appropriate fashion. This is referred to as robot perception, which is a popular field in robotics based on computer vision. Computer vision includes method for acquiring, processing, analyzing, and understanding digital images. Typically, a robot uses a camera to see the world around it. And this camera will provide the robot with a feed of images that it needs to process so that to extract useful information. Image processing is a very complex and challenging task. Fortunately, in the last 20 years, a lot of research has been done and significant advancement took place. It is now possible to accurately analyze the content of an image and extract useful information out of it. The most popular library for computer vision and image processing is OpenCV. It provides a comprehensive set of tools and algorithms to perform complex operation of image processing and computer vision in real time. The objective of this lecture is to give an overview about OpenCV and its important feature. So OpenCV is an open source computer vision library. It was released under the BSD license and it is free for both academic and commercial use. It supports multiple programming languages, namely C++, Python and Java, and works under different operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android. It has a strong focus on real-time, since it was written in C++ and has been optimized. OpenCV can perform a lot of operations related to computer vision. This is a sample of these operations. It can do 2D image processing. It can also perform image input and output and video input and output. It can read images from files. It can read video streams coming from USB cameras from video files. It can perform camera calibration, video analysis like motion extraction, feature tracking, foreground extraction, and nowadays with the advances of machine learning and deep learning technology, it is possible to accurately perform object detection and also recognition. OpenCV also supports GPU accelerated computer vision and it has much, much more functionalities. So let's see a couple of functionalities that we can use with OpenCV. One of the basic functionalities of OpenCV is to do image segmentation. So image segmentation is the process of partitioning a digital image into multiple segments, and it is used to locate objects and boundaries in images. Another operation is image thresholding, and thresholding is the simplest method of image segmentation. It allows to transform a grayscale image to a binary image. So the idea here is to take a color as a threshold and any color above the threshold will be considered as white and any color below the threshold will be considered as black. So the resulting image will be binary, either black or white. With the advances of machine learning and deep neural networks, it is now possible to detect and recognize objects inside an image. And this technology has promoted a lot of applications like for example autonomous vehicles which deeply rely on computer vision technique to observe the world around them. It is also possible to do a nice drawing with OpenCV. For example, it's possible to draw circles, lines, polygons, text, and many different shapes. In the practical lecture, we're going to do a little bit of drawing. Edge detection is also an important operation in computer vision. It consists in finding the boundaries of objects within the image and works by detecting discontinuities in brightness. Edge detection is used for image segmentation and data extraction. One of the very useful functionalities in OpenCV is that to read and write images and video streams. With OpenCV, it becomes very simple to read an image and load it into a data structure for further processing. This was a brief background on OpenCV functionalities, and now let's move to the practical part of this section.